Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Digital Worlds 2019. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today guys, really appreciate it. If you're watching live on Twitch and if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It, <laughs> a, a like, not a like, a like, <laughs> it really helps out the channel. Thank you so much guys. So, um, a super, super interesting deck made it all the way to the top four. It's a Metagross Soul Galio deck which was really impressive, to be honest, um, to see it all the way up there. Um, this features two stage twos on paper. It sounds really clunky, but um, somehow it made it through 15 switch rounds and top eight, only to be defeated in top four. So you have the 4-2-4-1 line of Metagross, uh, Metagross GX with a 250 HP. Its ability Geotech system, you can attach a Psychic or a Metal Energy card from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. And then Giga Hammer deals 150 damage and um, you can't attack next turn. Algorithm GX allows you to search your deck for up to 5 cards and put them into your hand. So a really nice GX attack right there. And then we have the other Metagross, which with 170 HP, its ability extend as long as its Pokemon is your active Pokemon. Your turn does not end when you play Steven's Resolve, uh, which the text runs two of, and Meter Mash deals 60. And then during your next turn, this Pokemon's Meter Mash deals 60 more damage. Um, we have the two Tuzel Galu line as well, so Galu GX 250 HP. Its ability Ultra Road allows you to have a free switch every single turn while Soul Galio is in play, and then Sun Steel Strike deal 230 damage and you discard all energy from this Pokemon. Of course, with Metagross ability, you don't have to worry about the discard because you just get them back immediately. However, I personally fail to see the advantages of running Soul Galujax and putting more pressure into your Roy Candy rather than um, using something like Dust Mini Necrozma or even Ultra Necrozma and mixing up your energy, but hey, who am I to question the top 4 list? Um, Delmite with its ability allows a uh, metal Pokemon to deal 10 extra damage to the active Pokemon, which means Metagross can hit for 160 rather than 150, and then we have Choice Man, it hits for 190 total, which is a very magical number. Um, two double LA and one Alolan Vulpix for support, and then we have maximum consistency here for Cynthia, three Kuzma, two Lily, two Steven's Resolve. Steven's Resolve is here more for the early game to guarantee those Metagross rather than to combine with the baby Metagross's ability. Um, one Judge, one Hala. Very surprising to see Hala here. I personally am not a big fan of it, but hey, once again, it really worked out for our for um, the top four player. And then we have four Ultra Ball, four Max Potion, four Nest Ball, four Rick Candy, two Rescue Stretcher, and two Choice Man. So a lot of consistency right there. Seven Metal Energy, one Psychic Energy round out the deck. And so let's see how badly we break with this Soul Galio Metagross deck. We shall see. You can already sense the typical Pablo stage two hands incoming, right? <laughs> I can already see them coming as well, but we still have to try out the deck. And sometimes we can run hot, right? Sometimes we do run hot enough to where the decks end up working. Imagine a Veldum here. A Veldum here would have actually been pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay. So there we have Beldum. We already have the rare candy metagross for turn two, which is honestly very nice. Very, very nice. And I also have a Lolan Vulpix to go with as well. We'll see what we're up against. Oh, we see an Alolan Vulpix from our opponents ourselves. So here we have a choice. And I feel like that choice is going to be Beldum. And then losing all of these Ultra Balls feels harsh. Do I just lose the energy? Yeah, I'll lose the energy. This is this hand is pretty good. Um, so we're gonna Lele for Steven's Resolve, which means if I don't get Marshadowed or Judged on turn one, I'm gonna get double Metagross plus a Draw Supporter for this turn. Um, 
So yeah, with Stevens, I could go for Lily. Lily is a safer-ish option. And Galade, <laughs> a very kind of you. Um, I played Zoro Rock as well, and I got 130th or something. So you did better than I did. <laughs> did you lose your win and in last round, or what happened? Okay, so we're gonna go with that, and then I think I just grab a Lily, perhaps? No, Cynthia. I'll just grab Cynthia. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty good. Double work any double mana grows. I have a small chance, I guess, to win next turn. We're gonna see the Ultra Ball. <laughs> Red Knights indeed. And this is a mirror match. This is 100% a mirror match. This is 100% a mirror match, which seems like it's going to be a popular deck from now on, just because it has the novelty factor, people love stage 2s, I love stage 2s. Okay. I definitely love my stage 2s, my opponent is running the wrong Belden though. 70 HP does not make up for a triple. Oh wow, he already has. Oh, so I should have grabbed the Judge. I should have grabbed this Judge. Does this deck even have a Judge? No, it doesn't. So my opponent will have very handy Soul Calibur next turn, which maybe we can do as well. Uh, because we did top deck this, and we go. So well, Cynthia. I mean, I can't just algorithm, right? Ooh, and I think that's gonna be my play. Taking a KO here feels useless. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna G attack so that I can algorithm, and then what do I need? Well, it's five cards. Five cards is a lot. Uh, I don't need the Del Mice. Hell, it's good. Okay, so we're gonna alter them, right? So we're gonna get one of these friends, one of these friends, one of these friends, right? And then we already have the choice band, so what are we missing? An energy in the discard pile. So let's make sure we have a way to get the end. Oh, I already have the control, never mind. So, two energy. <laughs> wow. It's like turn one, search for any three cards. Turn two, search for any five cards. That's actually insane. We'll see what happens here. I mean, if it is a mirror match. I mean, which technically it isn't, because my opponent is not running the right Beldum. But if it is a mirror match, then my opponent has no way to combat my algorithm. Delmai's energy. And then if my Soul Galio can get back to back KOs on his Soul Galio, then we are in a pretty good spot. He chooses not to evolve into Soul Galio. So I just take out the Metagross instead. Right? Wow, this is so broken. Turn one, search for any three cards. Turn two, search for any five cards. <laughs> that is insane. Kuzma, that's fine. That is completely fine. And goes for the algorithm. By not having enough Metagross backing this up, we are good to go here. We are absolutely good to go. The energy attached to Cosmog is gonna end up being super, super important. This deck is actually good. I mean, if you turn one, you search for any three cards and you choose them right. And then turn two, you search for any five cards and you choose them right, then yeah, that's always gonna be a pretty good, uh, a pretty good way to start any game. Okay, so I attach, I retreat, right? Attach, I retreat. Oh, I could have just used my ability. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, this, and the Delmites. I'm gonna grab another Delton here. Because a third Metagross is probably what I need. And then we will use Geotech system. If there's only metal, why does it like ask you to choose? I chose not to discard another energy because I might need to have like back to back to back attachments in order to get KOs. And then I Hala for seven or keep the Kuzma. That's the question. Um, 
Do I Hala for 7 or keep the Kuzma to chase down the Soul Galio or chase down whatever my opponent is planning to do? I think I'm gonna keep the Kuzma. Because Hala into 7 is pretty good, but. I still need some. Yeah, my opponent cannot recover from two Soul Galio. Two Metagross and a Soul Galio versus only Soul Galio with no backup and the fact that he has to go for. For the GX move to even have some chance, or he has to stall. In order for my opponent to recover there, he needed like to have a turn of triple Beltum plus uh, Soul Galu GX next turn, which he could have grabbed, right? We, he could have grabbed with the with the Alchemism GX, but we don't know what he did grab. So let's go. Okay, we're gonna pull again yet again. Uh, double mulligan. The my opponent did mulligan. It is Ray. We're up against Ray. And our opponent very friendly. We both mulligan. I think twice. Or maybe once. I'm not sure. But he ate mulligan at least once. And I mulligan definitely at least twice. Starting with Delma is not great. Definitely not great. At least we're going first though, and we have the really and we have the rare candy. Okay, so this is actually pretty even. Okay, so don't get any Beltum here. And then I think I definitely just grab a Metagross here. Get rid of the Hala. Uh, I mean, I could technically grab another Beldum. But if I don't get Americos, what do I value more? No, I think I do need another Beldum down. Because I don't need Soul Gallo in this game, right? I don't need Soul Gallo. I do, however, need to attach here, and then I'll daily for 7. I do have 4 Metagross and another Bull Troll, which is nice. I'll bench this guy, sure. Also, do this another Beldum and then I'll pass I mean I have the card to get Metagross and Algorithm next turn though this is Vika Ray so he does have access to Marshadow which is not great we could Layla here like where can can't well we still can nah powering up Soul Galio feels unnecessary This, when it runs well, it definitely feels super powerful. When it doesn't, though, <laughs> like I, I would consider running this for a challenge where it's like low risk. I might run this for a challenge this quarter since I already have my 60 points. I mean, my 30 points for the challenges. I have very few CP so far, though, only 92. Okay, my opponent just passes, chooses not to um, Tempest here, which is a pretty strong indicator of strength. <laughs> it's a strong indicator of strength. Okay, so I'll grab a Metagross. And then... I mean, if I Algorithm here, I'm sure that my opponent will just... use Marshadow. But it is what it is. I mean, I could technically use Kuzma here. What if I Kuzma? That makes it super awkward for him. I feel like that's my play. When I Kuzma the Krobin. Yeah, and I'll geotech system. This makes it so that he can't just uh, go march out of Tempest. Okay, so I'll grab a Metagross, I'll grab a Rare Candy. Really not that interested in having Soul Galio. So perhaps, I mean, I have an energy. Uh, I'll grab a Metang. To not be as greedy, like I was thinking, where can you goes? But no, I won't be as greedy. I'll grab a Cynthia and I'll grab a Choice Band. Choice Band is a lot harder to get on an energy. 
So maybe it's just a Matanga should have grabbed an energy. My algorithm was a bit greedy. Not too much, but not terrible. And yeah, initial setup is extremely crucial with two stage twos indeed. Super, super crucial. And yeah, guys, based on the time, this is going to be the last deck of today. Um, but hopefully we get another couple good games. Like, hopefully this game is good, is what I mean. I won't have time to stream more. I mean, technically I could, but... Okay. So I'm gonna see an Ultra Wall. See the V gold. Very candy. No marshadow yet. No marshadow yet. He needs judge or minor shadow. Any reason why you're saving Hala for later? I already discard the Hala. So, otherwise I would grab the Hala here, but I already used the Hala. He's gonna lose my KO something here? Cynthia. Oh, well, that doesn't guarantee anything. Uh, Vigal having resistance is really annoying. Is he going to Marshadow or not? Are we gonna get away with it? Uh, there's a Marshadow, I guess. <laughs> no worries, your banish. Yeah, so we discard the, the Hala on turn one. Okay, so that's fair. I mean, we expected that, right? I had no better play than algorithm there. Like, if I don't algorithm, then sure, he doesn't march out of, the, march out of me, but then I'm uh, depending on my top deck or relying on my top deck. And that's not bad. That is honestly not bad. That is honestly not bad. Um, my opponent does go for a discard on the ray and whiffs, which is... Oh no, he doesn't whiff. He did have an energy. He did lose, however. Lysander Labs Recycler and Delmite. Lysander Labs is so clutch. Oh wow, with Lysander Labs we can never KO with ray. So setting up till Galu just became super important, actually. Setting up Soul Galio just became super important. We're actually going to be forced to set up Soul Galio here. Um, yeah, we'll fail that. I feel like I need the second Cosmo here, honestly. I need the second Cosmo. I'm one. I'm ten short of the knockout of Eagle. That sucks. I mean, there's no way my opponent can KO me next turn, right? Here we need switch, two more, three more energy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's running Lysander Labs, which means no choice, man. So you need Rare Candy, V Gold, switch, attach. That's four very specific cards. Uh, it's gonna be close, though. It's gonna be close. <laughs> that 10 damage on the V Gold really hurts, though. Wow, he powers up the eagle, so he's gearing up to retreat. He knows it's up to me. Like, he knows he's gonna be able to do it, Kale. So yeah, I guess he'd rather save the eagle than lose it, which makes sense, just to get more energy on board, because then he has no recovery for the late game, and setting up a second eagle is never easy. I feel like, with double metagross, we should be having some sort of advantage. And the max potion, like, we, we can't attack anyway, so we have to retreat. We need to find an energy. And my opponent was contemplating the Tempest, I imagine. And we top deck the choice band. That's just beautiful. That is just beautiful. Eliminating three energy here is going to be huge. Eliminating three energy is going to be huge. 
assuming we find that energy, right? Nothing guaranteed we get the energy. That's a missing piece. Oh, but we get rare candy matter grows. Oof. We get rare candy matter grows. Wow, that was clutch. How many choices in the deck too? So very, very fortunate turn for us this turn. We got the lucky max I mean the lucky choice by the top deck and we got um we got the rare candy meta goes off of the synth, yeah. So that was an insanely lucky turn for me. Insanely, insanely lucky turn. Now we can cycle through the meta grows. No problem. We don't have another choice band, which means we won't be taking a KO on this next raid. That was very fortunate for us though. Very, very fortunate. Very fortunate turn. We were at a big risk of whipping there. And then my opponent had five energy. That's 150, two more to 10, plus attachment. I guess our Metagross was safe anyways, so I guess our Metagross was safe anyways. And Dragon Break for 120, which we will get to heal. This deck does run Judge, I forgot, I thought we didn't. I thought that was a choice, but I was like, nah, there's no way. Okay, so I wonder what's better here. I mean, there's merit to using Steven's Resolve, honestly. I feel like that would be fine. To just, like, retreat into the Delmine. I think that's my plan, because hitting for 150, what does that even accomplish? I'm gonna do it here anyway, so might as well set up this whole Galio's here. So... There's three energy, gone. I'm just gonna Stevens, right? And then that guy, that guy, and energy? A Kuzma to chase down whatever I need? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> perfect to finish. I wasn't reading chat, I promise. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna two shot anyways, might as well see with yourself. My opponent already exhausted the Marshadow. That deck definitely doesn't draw any judge. So, and if they do and he knocks out my Delmise, then Manigros comes up and I knock out another Ray. Unless he plays the Stadium. If he plays the Stadium, then like the Stadium, Judge, Strong chart. I mean, Stadium Judge would be his best play here. Stadium Judge would be the best play. And I don't need Delmites whatsoever. I don't need the Delmites whatsoever. So, four stage twos. Four stage twos. That's insane. <laughs> that is actually pretty insane. Okay, we're going to see a Kuzma, that's fine, because this is nowhere near close to a KO, and my opponent has to use an energy to retreat, that is very sad. Yeah, it's just downhill from here for my opponent. It is honestly downhill from here for my opponent. This is quite a powerful deck, not gonna lie, this is quite a powerful deck. I'm gonna Ultra Road. And then I'll attach the Psychic, I will Geotech system. At this point, it doesn't matter. At this point, I'm pretty sure as long as I don't play the Stevens Resolve, we just win next turn, right? We just immediately win next turn, no matter what. Like, even if my opponent gets the Stadium, um, we don't need the Choice Band to win. And there's the other Choice Band. Um, delay 3289, I did see, <laughs> very kind of you, very kind words, very kind of you to say that, and um, you bubble to a shrine deck, I mean, I can show you my, <laughs> oh, Heat Tempest, I can show you my, um, my list if you want, my Zoro Rock list, I beat, um, 
one shrine deck. I beat Connor Peterson, who got second place at Worlds last year in seniors, who recently aged up as a master. I beat Connor Peterson in, in the best of three um, with a Zorrock list. Um, basically, I had double Kukui, double stadiums, and Diancy for Lycan Rock. And I focused on Lycan Rock to deal with the shrine deck. Yeah, um, he didn't have the 1 1 Reval, of course, but. Um, which is problematic, but um, it's like it's focusing on Lycan Rock and especially on the Sledgehammer turn. Uh, weakness Palsy would also be very useful. Uh, but yeah, we end up going undefeated <laughs> with the Metagrossal Galio deck. Um, thank you so much to everyone who has been watching on YouTube. Leave a like on the video if you can, it really helps out the channel. If you are watching with me live on Twitch, let me show my Zoroark list that I used um, for the regional, I believe this was it. Um, I had the 1-1 Macargo, I had the Diancia, I had the 3-2 Lycanroc, and then I had 2 um, Divard Field, 2 Professor Kukui, and that's how I tried to deal with um, with the deck. Um, I definitely like changes after the the regional. I would not play Timer Ball. I would definitely play play Great Ball, and that's probably it. That's generally it. Um, maybe I would try to fit in a thirty barred field. Maybe that would be the only change that I would try to do. Um, but other than that, I felt the list was super solid, super consistent, super good, um, and it worked perfectly for me. Um, except in that last round where the double tails um, literally left me out of day two contention but yeah that's gonna be it from me guys thank you so much for watching thanks so much for being here and i will see you guys tomorrow much much earlier at our usual time um, of 11 12 central standard more or less i'll be live streaming more decks um, the fifth place vega raid list the passiban list that popped up and anything else that I find interesting from Limitless TCG. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.